Well, Aaron, it's unclear whether school staff had any prior knowledge about what some of those students told us about that shooting suspect today. Obviously, many here shocked at what happened at Freeman High School, but many are telling us that there were plenty of warning signs. Some students at Freeman High School say there were warning signs leading up to the shooting that left one student dead and three more injured. He was handing out notes to his friends and it said that he was going to do something stupid to where it either might get him killed or in jail. And when I talked to him about it, he said that it was just in case if something stupid happened. And then that was like a couple weeks ago when school started. That student says a school counselor was given one of those notes, but we haven't been able to confirm that with the school. Students who knew the shooter say he had been acting strange. He messaged me over Facebook asking if I could get him gasoline, fuses, tinfoil, and there was something else. And I told him no and asked him why, and he said that it was for a science experiment. The shooter was apparently obsessed with school shootings. He did watch a lot of school uh, school shooting documentaries. He would send them to me over Snapchat because um, we'd be talking and he'd just take a pic random picture of it and send it to me, which got me a little concerned, but I didn't want to ask. Today, police say the gunman entered the school with a black duffel bag. I heard kids saying that he had a black duffel bag and that he had a... Had a, had a gun in there, but they didn't say anything about it, so. Um, did, uh, can you elaborate on that? I mean, did he tell people he had a gun in the uh, duffel bag this morning? No, he didn't tell people, but he uh, said that he uh, people saw, like, thought it was a gun in there, and then people started joking about it, I guess, from what I hear from uh, underclassmen. No, they weren't taking it seriously, and they were joking around with him, and I guess that's when it happened. He's like, yeah, I have a gun, so he pulled it out. And some really chilling statements there by the students who knew the shooter and Aaron, many in this small high school did.